We are live. What is up? It is five o'clock central on the dot as attendees are flying in. I got my good buddy, the CMO of Nice Loss and Fleming, Bill Carre, hanging out in Springfield. Bill, thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you for having me. I think we're going to have some fun today. Oh my gosh, man. I'm super excited for this topic, this title. Like I'm telling you guys, this dude is a phenomenal trainer. He gets so energized and excited when he trains. I can guarantee you it's going to be unbelievable. As you are jumping in tonight, do us a favor, jump in chat and let us know where you are watching from. We're in Springfield, Missouri. My office is Springfield, Missouri. Bill is up in Pittsburgh, right? Pittsburgh, PA. We got Darren in Louisiana, Orlando, Florida. We got, what's up, Patrice? Dallas, Texas, Arizona, California. Salt Lake City, Utah is in the house. I've only been there once, but it was cool. Beautiful scenery in Salt Lake. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So cool. We had a Trinidad, I think a, a Cali, a Florida. I missed a bunch. Tampa. Nashville. We were talking about Nashville at dinner last night. Yes. Yes. Montreal. Never been to Canada. Oh, um, okay. Washington State, San Antonio, Kansas City, Kansas, Illinois. What is up, Todd? What's up, Alvin? What's up, Wayne? Claremore, Oklahoma. Did you not too far away, right? Greetings from Orange County, California. We should just go there next. Right? Uh, you, you know what? I, I think that would be a great on-site uh, location for the next webinar. Wrightsville, PA. Where's there we at? go, Pennsylvania. Let's, Let's go get go, it. Man, in the house, right? Ohio, New York City, California. What is up, Brooklyn? Okay. Brooklyn's in the house. I love this, man. This is great. Okay. Appreciate you guys being here. You are awesome. Branson, Missouri. It's like 45 minutes away, which is wild. Yeah. What's up, Dan? I don't think we met yet. Um, tonight's topic, as you're jumping in, is on how life agents can create a six figure renewal income and I can tell you tonight is, is like tonight is the ability to be one of those moments in your life, one of those pivotal moments in your life where you look back and say, dude, that webinar with Bill Carre and Cody Askins, that webinar changed the freaking game on business. And I know it has the ability to do that. Also, we're going to go for about um, an hour, shoot, maybe shorter, maybe longer. We're cool with whatever, right? goes, which yeah. is awesome. Um, Bill's got an entire slide deck of information with phenomenal detail and numbers to back it up. Like I can tell you this, man, there's a lot of people. Hey, what's up, Lisa? Thank you for that. Uh, there's a lot of people in the industry that like, th there's some, there's some fluff where there's like stuff behind the curtain or they'll like tease you or you know what I mean? There's, or there's hype. Dude, Bill, you've ever seen him in his YouTube channel, everything he does, like he gives it all away. Like he's like the dude, he never sells anything. He helps agents and he just gives as much information and valuable content as he possibly can. I don't know where that comes from, but I love that you do it. I appreciate you doing it. And before we get to tonight, here's one thing I want to mention, okay, is we have a ton of content to go through. Um, if you would like a, I'm going to put a link in chat in just a second. Do me a favor, okay? Um, hit when, we, when I share the link, hit the link, fill out the form because you are going to get a free ebook that is a bunch of pages long that's actually going to help you with tonight's webinar. It'll help you follow along in tonight. It'll also give you tangible content that you can reference and use later after tonight. Most people don't spend like hours and days with their whole freaking team up in PA building landing pages and putting together ebooks and content and slide decks. But this dude's a professional, class professional, cares, has a huge heart. And so I'm going to put the link right now for everyone. Boom. So click the link right there. Download your free ebook to go with tonight's webinar. Once again, how life agents can create a six figure renewal income. Um, also, if you, as we hang out tonight, when you enjoy what we're saying and you like what Bill is talking about, Michael's already started it. You put eights in chat. Okay. You put an eight. Some people put ones. We put eights because of 8%. That's what we do. Okay. Uh, Bill, Number one, you're super busy. You travel a ton. He's he, he, he's he's got like maybe like three three four thousand active agents. He's got 500, 600 agents. You know that, that are that are making six figures a year. Like I'm telling you, this 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 cat and this company is legit. Um, you travel a ton. You're busy. Yeah. You agreed to this for free. Why did you want to do this tonight? Well, I I think the biggest reason why when you asked me about doing this webinar session, I said sure. I'm going to get on a plane, coming to Springfield. Like let's do this thing. Most people do it remotely. Bill's like, I'm coming, bro. He's like, he's like Deion Sanders with Colorado. I'm coming. <laughs> I, I, am I the coach prime of Medicare? Dude, that, let's go, that, bro. That's the type, type of swag that I'm, I'm bringing to the table, I guess. But you know, part of the reason why I said, yeah, let's do this. Uh, the first reason was I have never done a webinar session with a picture of a puma in the background. I don't, well, I'm not sure if it's a Puma or a Jaguar. It is a Jaguar. It's a Jaguar. Okay. Um, I've never done that before. So 
Checkbox. Boom. Done that. Um, no, but in, in all seriousness, the, the real reason was there are so many agents that start in life and they they dismiss working in Medicare because they don't they don't see the immediate financial return. Like they're looking at one appointment, how much will I make this week from that sale? And and for a lot of folks, they're just like, yeah, I'm just not going to do that. Like I make more selling life. And unfortunately, we've seen too many times where folks end up rolling to us and we're, we're really trying to explain one person at a time how much they can make in renewal revenue and provide a lot of safety and security for their family and also provide them a lot of funds to develop further their prospecting and lead generation for life insurance. Yes. So when you and I talked about this, I said, yes, I want to do this so that I can get in front of more agents all at once yeah. and share this message to hopefully help them really like blow up their financial future in a super positive way. That's awesome. And, and, and so if you're out there and you're like, dude, I feel like this business is hard. And it is right. It's a roller coaster and it can feel like that. You feel like you to start over every hour, every day, start over every week, every month, every year. You don't have a bunch of renewals behind you, but you want to get to where you're a stable agency owner and you build something special, right? That that can that can live on, right? And that can continue. And you could take a month off and still get paid, right? As I'm gonna pull up our YouTube channel because we're getting questions about that. His YouTube channel is, I, I truly believe, it is the best, it is the number one Medicare training focused YouTube channel in the marketplace, period. Uh, they do not hold any punches. They share everything. And so there is the link to jump on and subscribe right now to the Nice Lost and Fleming YouTube channel. Yeah. Well, I'm excited, buddy. Um, what can they expect to learn tonight? Why should they be like, dude, I, I will be there. Also, I'm going I'm to add something for those that make it to the end of the webinar. I've got a little surprise. I'm going to give something away at the end. Maybe even a couple of things, man. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, What's up, Patrice? Thank you for the for subscribing to the channel. What's up, Darren? Thank you, subscribe. That's awesome. What can they expect to learn tonight? Well, I think anyone who hangs around till the end of the session, they're going to come away with two things. Number one, they're going to understand what does it take to build a hundred thousand dollars in renewal revenue, mm. um, and they're they're going to understand it. You know, not in vague and ambiguous terms, in very specific terms. If I do this in terms of sales, this is how I get to that number. Love that. Um, and the second piece is they're going to understand that it is absolutely feasible to do this without disrupting what they're doing right now on the life and annuity side. This is, this is not a stop what you're doing and do this instead. This is incorporate this into your existing business model. And down the line, you'll be able to say, yep. Six-figure renewal income. Here Let's I am. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I love it, buddy. Well, I know you've got a ton planned. I know we're going to walk through some specifics. Um, anything else? Or would you like me to jump to your slide deck and share the screen and jump in? Well, I'm, unless we're going to sing a song for the viewers, I think we can jump into the slide Let's deck. Let's go, man. Okay. If you want to hear Bill sing. Actually, Bill does karaoke and sings, by the way. I, I've witnessed it on video at one of our events in Phoenix, right? Like, I'm, I'm, I mean, the dudes, are, he's a fun dude. I'm just trying to draw you in, Cody. I think that's that, I think that it's maybe working. that's the surprise. Maybe that's what he's holding back for all the viewers today. It is working, man. It is working, it is working, it is working. Um, let's do this. Let's share our screen. And then I'm gonna hit full slideshow. Let me know in chat. Give me a yes if you can see this specific um slide okay perfect right so so the first page should say where are you after three years medicare sales growth three-year breakdown his team put a ton of time into this and i'm excited for him to walk through this tonight so bill take it away my friend okay so where we want to start is you can't build a hundred thousand dollars of renewal revenue in a day and a lot of times you go on YouTube, you're on people's social pages, and you're seeing these outlandish, crazy claims about this agent wrote $500,000 of life premium in a week, or they built a million dollars of revenue in their first two and a half months of the business. 
This is not that. This is not a crazy impossible example. This is not a bait and switch. This is not clickbaity stuff. This is a real live plan to show everyone that is on the session tonight exactly how to do this. So this is a three-year sales plan to show you exactly how you get there um, that anyone can replicate. So uh, let's, go, let's go ahead and move forward. Oh, we're, oh, we were at the end. I'm so oh, here we go. Oh, you got it. Back to the beginning. Let's go. Let me give you a little quick preview of how oh. fast you were. Yeah. That, so a, a, anyone who was recording this and slows it down, they, they can always get to the end. Yeah. So we'll just use the mouse. So we're going to talk through creating six figures of renewal income. And the way that you do this is adding Medicare to what you're doing right now and not disrupting your life insurance business. So one of the things, Cody, that I know that life insurance agents have talked to us about, ones that are exploring the subject of working in Medicare, is that there's this feeling that some folks have that every Monday morning, they're, they, they feel like they're unemployed. And, and the reason for that is that you go out and you write, you write a case of life insurance. Could be final expense, could be UL, could be term, whatever it is. You're getting a big pop, boom, first year commissions, like you're seeing on the, light, the left side of the screen. You know, these are, these are just some average first year commission amounts. And then you look at the renewals. What are you making year two? Like final expense, maybe you're making 5%. Like UL, maybe two. Like nobody pays, you know, really renewals on term. I don't know that you even see that. So this is why, you know, you, a life insurance salesperson is a hunter. They are constantly hunting to eat, but they're, they're not farming. They're not growing anything that's going to come up through the ground and feed them. And as a result, if you want to, as a life insurance producer, if you want to build $100,000 in annualized renewals, writing final expense and UL, right in the mix of that, you've got to write $2,850,000 of premium in order to have $100,000 in renewals. Yes. $2.85 million in order to have $100,000 in renewal revenue. That's nuts. And you know what the crazy thing is? There's going to be some distributor who's going to watch this and their next YouTube video is, here's how you write $2.85 million of life insurance premium in a, in a month. Correct. But, but I mean, that's a crazy number. And, and this just goes to show that if you want to build a legitimately strong block of renewal business, it is virtually impossible for most producers to do it doing life. Um, so, so how do you do it? So let's think about sales for a second, just sales in general, whether you're selling life insurance, whether you're selling televisions, whether you're selling a you know, subscription to Netflix, whatever you're selling, there's three things that you've got to have, okay? And this is about any kind of sales. Mm -hmm. You've got to have a prospect, a consumer who wants to buy whatever this is. The second thing that you need is you need a product that people understand has value because otherwise what are you selling there's if you don't have a product there's nothing to sell and the last thing that i think a lot of times folks either ignore or they don't think enough about is there has to be a sense of urgency for the consumer because otherwise they're just going to wait and wait and wait and i don't need it now maybe i'll take it next week um but but you got to have sense of urgency so let's talk about why this is important so Part of the reason that agents write Medicare business, if we think about those three principles of sales, you need a consumer, you need a product with value, and you need sense of urgency. The Medicare market has all of this built in. And, and I'm, not, I'm not here to tell you that selling, selling Medicare products is easy. It isn't easy. Um, but selling life insurance business isn't easy either. <laughs> but the part of the Medicare business relating to those three sales principles really sets agents up for success. So the first thing is when you talk about the, con the consumer, prospects or potential consumers, Medicare constantly has what I call a demographic tailwind. It's being pushed from behind, constantly growing. And I've heard some producers who've said, oh yeah, all the baby boomers are through Medicare already. The boom, the boom is done. Well, it's not the case. Medicare, the Medicare base of consumers is expected to grow by a third, by 33% between now and 2030. That's nuts. That, that is 33% larger prospect base 
in seven years than there is right now. Just think about that for a second. So anyone who tells you that the opportunity is done, it's exhausted in Medicare is just flat out wrong. The second thing is when we talk about a product with understood value, if you spend any time working in the health insurance field with Medicare consumers, you, you kind of know anecdotally that consumers really realize original Medicare is not enough. You know, having part A and part B just isn't, isn't going to get it done. And statistically, 90%, nine out of every 10 people on Medicare have some form of additional coverage. Could be a Medicare supplement product, could be Medicare Advantage, they could have a special needs plan. They've got some product in addition to Medicare. And having a product in addition to Medicare means there are commission dollars for you to earn through sales. Um, so you don't have to generally convince people they need something else. It's generally understood. And the last part, which is super important with sales, like I said, of any kind, is you need a sense of urgency. Like we, we think about this all the time when we're talking about recruiting agents at our office to work with us. And there are times where our, our recruiters will say, yeah, you know, I'm talking to Bob or I'm talking to Janet and we're talking about United Healthcare. And I just can't see them get them to pull the trigger to, to do the contract. Mm -hmm. And invariably what we'll see in third quarter, all of those people that maybe we talked to in January, in March, in May, in July, August, and September, it's like, oh my God, I got to get contracted right now. Well, why is that? Because they're worried about not having access to that product during fourth quarter when so many people are moving. What's well, it's the sense that they finally had sense of urgency to do it. The Medicare market has two built-in drivers of sense of urgency. The first is when consumers are turning 65. Um, because either they're retiring and coming off their group. Maybe they were on an ACA plan and they have to get off of the ACA plan when they turn 65. Um, but there is a built-in sense of urgency driving people to seek information and make enrollment decisions. The other piece of it is the fourth quarter during the annual enrollment period. And for those of you that maybe have not sold Medicare before, I'll just kind of give you an understanding of what that looks like and why it drives sense of urgency. During the fourth quarter from October 15th through December 7th, any consumer can make a decision for the upcoming calendar year on Medicare Advantage and Part D prescription drug programs. And the information is everywhere. The carriers are blasting out about it. You've got agents and agencies and brokers communicating and advertising like crazy. Every time you turn the TV on, how many of you, uh, toss me some eights in the chat, how many of you have watched television during October, November, December, and seen tons of Medicare commercials all over the place? I mean, it was it was actually so crazy um, in Western Pennsylvania. My dad, who I do his Medicare insurance for him, my dad had asked me before, but at the very beginning of October, hey, should I keep my Aetna plan? My dad's on Aetna. Um, and I said, yeah, dad. You know, you, you look, look at look at look at your plan notice for next year. Benefits are good. You should stay there. He saw so many ads for Humana um, that he he called me twice. He's like, "Are you sure I shouldn't look at Humana?" Because I literally see their advertisement on television like every every other ad. So all of that noise is out there. And how does that benefit you as an agent? Because consumers very clearly understand hey, this is the time I should be talking to someone, I might need to make a decision. So you've got two huge drivers of sense of urgency that help to drive your sales. And that's one of the biggest reasons why agents start writing Medicare business. Now, let's talk about once they start writing it, why do they keep writing it? Um, it's really interesting when you think about recurring revenue, which is why we're here today, was what we're here to talk about. Yep. With Medicare Advantage, you get lifetime renewals at 50% of what you make off a consumer turning 65. And we'll talk about what these numbers look like here in just a second. The second piece of it for Medicare supplement, if you write that product, it's level commissions for six years. So, and, and this, is, this is actually really interesting. I am still getting renewals on Medicare supplement business that I wrote in 2006. Now, is it a ton of money? No. Like, I, I wasn't writing business in order to feed my family or pay my mortgage. Like, I was just doing it to help people out. I still am getting enough renewals 
to buy probably a case or two of good beer every single month, you know, from business that I wrote like 18 years ago. Crazy. It's, it's a crazy thing. Um, but, but it is renewal revenue. That is why once agents start writing Medicare business, that they keep doing it. So here's something that's super interesting. Uh, Cody and I were kind of talking about this session and he had asked me questions about, you know, how many of your agents are making over hundred thousand dollars a year? Um, you know, what does that look like? And I, I, I ta we talked about that a little bit. The other thing I countered back with when we were building the concept for this session is most of our agents, when we talk about their revenue, like if they look at all of the dollars that are coming in in a given year, most of them tell us two thirds, 66% of their revenue they make in a year is renewal comp. You know, that, that agents who are focused on the Medicare business, that two thirds of what they make in a year was baked in on January 1st. Think, think about whether you'd like to be in a position where two thirds of your annual revenue came from business you wrote in the years prior. Um, it, it, is, it is a really strong position to be in because again, it does a couple of things for you. Number one, it gives you a sense of security so that you can, you can act in your business with calm and with patience. The other thing is it gives you dollars you can invest into different initiatives. Um, so, you know, that, that's a really good place to be. Big number. Yeah. Big number. Yeah. 66% pretty wild. So I'm going to ask all you a question. Is this a situation that you'd like to be in? I'm, I'm assuming it's a yes, because you, you logged on to the webinar tonight. Like you knew what we were talking about. You want to understand why you could do this. And, and again, here's the key item. A lot of times you'll attend sessions like this with other distributors or other marketers who all they're trying to get you to do is stop doing what you're doing right now. True. Sure and change your entire model to something else. I'm not suggesting that and neither is Cody. This is something, and when we walk through this plan, which again, super detailed, I'm giving it all to you, and nothing's behind the curtain here. You will see this is something you can do and not change your current business model. You don't have to do it. So let's talk about what this model would look like and how long it'll take for you to be earning $100,000 in renewal revenue. So we're going to jump into the compensation model, and this is going to give you a three-year breakdown. It's a three-year plan, one, two, three, um, because anyone who tells you you can have tremendous, insane success overnight is just trying to mess with you. They're, they're trying to sell you a bill of goods that isn't there. This is a three-year plan that anyone can do that will not require you to change your existing business model. So let's, let's get after it. So a couple, I, I like to get into the assumptions here um, and lay out what is behind the model. I'm like the rare salesperson that loves math. Like I'm crazy about math. Like most salespeople are like concept, concept, hype, concept. And I, I really like using numbers to tell a story and walk someone down a path. So with this model, we're going to talk about, there's a couple of things that I want everyone to understand. So looking at Medicare Advantage commissions in 2023, um, there's two numbers that we build into the model. The first is, is that an initial enrollment. So someone who is new to Medicare Advantage, it could be someone who's turning 65. It could, it could be someone that was on original Medicare for a couple of years, and then they enroll in Medicare Advantage for the first time. That enrollment, you as an agent in 2023, would make $600 basically. And then every year after that, that the consumer stays on the books, or, or if you move them from, say, United to Aetna, or Aetna to Humana, or Humana to Blue Cross, or Blue Cross to WellCare, whatever it is, you make $300 on that consumer. Again, in 2023, those numbers usually go up every single year. For Medicare Supplement, we usually operate this year, when we're doing a, a, a financial model, we, we assume $352 a year. Now, the way we come up with that is we look at an average premium of $1,600 and 22% commission. Now, that $352 is just your, you wrote the app, this is your straight commission from the insurance company. Here's what this doesn't account for. And there are a lot of agents who make a lot of money on this thing I'm going to tell you about next. If you've done any time on the internet, follow on LinkedIn, 
watching people's ads on YouTube, any of this stuff, you'll see a lot of people talking about cash for apps programs um, where you can earn cash bonuses on your med sub business. Some companies, it's like, hey, if you write three for us in a month, we're going to give you another $100 an app. Another company might be, you write three for us and they're underwritten. We're going to give you another $200 an app. So that $352 does not account for at all bonuses. Or if you start producing at a really high level, you can make more than 22%. Um, so just understand, we're trying to go with the most conservative possible estimate on this comp. So you understand this is reachable and feasible. The other piece of this that is really important that factors into this is your persistency rate. Um, now, for those of you who may not be familiar with that term, what we're talking about is how many of the members you write in 2023 keep their plans and are still your member in 2024. Um, so the assumption we made is 90%. Honestly, that's really low. Um, you know, I, I would say that most of our most of our producers that are working in Medicare um, are, are rolling in at the 93, 94% mark. Um, I mean, assuming that you're doing your job, you're, you're talking to your consumers um, and you're engaged with them. But 90% is super low. So that, that's the assumption we're making in the chart. And, and I, I talk through this so you understand, I'm not selling you pie in the sky. Like this is like very conservative, low end estimates so that you understand that these numbers are feasible. All right, so here's year one. Um, you've got a lot of numbers that are here, but let me talk you through the base level of what this looks like, okay? What we're assuming is, and we, we started the year in January, so let's say that you're, you started this program January 1st. What you've got to do is you've got to sell one person a week, one. Because if you look at January, it's accounting for you writing two Medicare Advantage and two Medicare supplements in a given month. Um, you're gonna write two of each. So four sales in January is one sale a week. With our, with our coaching, we can help you find, without even investing in leads, we can help you find where to find that business. So you just do that January, February, March, down the line through September. Now you may be asking yourself the question if you're not involved in this business, why are the numbers higher in October, November, December? And that's very simple because in the fourth quarter, we talked about the annual enrollment period a little bit earlier in the webinar. During fourth quarter, every single person who has Medicare, doesn't matter what they have um, in terms of Medicare Advantage or Medicare Supplement, they can make a decision to switch their coverage for January 1st. And because of like the Humana guy on television and the ads and all of this different stuff, and you got Joe Namath and JJ Walker, you know, doing their crazy ads, maybe, you know, uh, George Foreman's doing ads too. There's this heightened awareness. And so it's so much easier to get in front of consumers because it's that built in sense of urgency that is driving consumer activity. So what we typically will see for very new agents with very minimal coaching is Instead of just talking to one person a week, which is four in a month, they're talking to two and a half people um, or 10 a month. It's very, very easy in terms of projecting that out. So you, you roll that through, you end the first year, you wrote 66 policies, you wrote 33 Medicare Advantage, 33 Med Sub. Super conservative too. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. Um, that, that will relate to, again, using the assumption in this model, just under 32 grand in commission. Now, you're probably sitting there and you're saying to yourself, okay, if I wrote 66 life insurance apps, I would have made a hell of a lot more money than that. And that's the point. The point is, is that most of you on, on the line, I'm gonna make the assumption, if you've ever thought about writing Medicare before, You've thought about what do I make on my final expense business? What do I make on my UL business? What do I make on my term? And then you see these commissions and you say, no, thank you. Not interested, not gonna do it. Why would I do that? I'm gonna write 66 policies, I'm gonna make 31 grand. Because no one ever explained to you what, what happens in year two and then what happens in year three. So let's, let's get nuts and let's go to year two and see what happens. Boom. Okay. Now we're in year two. 
So you've had some experience writing Medicare. You also have 66 members that are currently your Medicare clients. And now all of a sudden, what starts to happen? People start to refer you. All of a sudden, you're getting referrals. And very easily, your sales numbers start to jump. So if you look at January through September, in year one, we were saying you're writing one app a week, four apps a month. Well, now, because you're getting referrals that are coming in the door, um, and maybe you build a partnership with a PCP office because our sales managers teams coached you how to do it. Now, all of a sudden, instead of writing one app a week, you're writing two a week. And guess what? You can still be totally killing it with your life insurance business because writing two Medicare apps a week is not going to derail what you're doing already. It just isn't. You, you can continue to write crazy amounts of final expense, crazy amounts of UL or term or annuity business if you're into that. Two apps a week. Again, January through September. Then you get to fourth quarter, October, November, December. You've got a whole lot of members. And guess what they're doing? They're referring you. Now you sold Laverne. Now she wants to refer you to her sister, Gina. You sold Bob. Bob wants to refer you to you know, his cousin, Cody. Or you sold Nick. Nick's referring you to his mailman, Lester. All of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. Here comes the referrals. Because the thing that folks who are in the Medicare, who are not in the Medicare market, don't really understand is Medicare is, in my experience, I've been doing this for 20 years, it is the single highest referral rate of any insurance product. No doubt. It's the biggest. Like, C Cody, think about this. Um, we talked a little bit last night when we were at dinner about how my first job was at McDonald's. Yep. Um, and one of the things that I remember, because I always liked working breakfast, that was my favorite thing to do, um, was like middle of the morning, I'd need to go out and mop the floors in the dining room. Okay. And the thing that I saw all the time was all of the, all of the all of the older folks, all the senior citizens who came in and got their cup of coffee for a quarter. Like senior coffee was a quarter. I don't know what it costs now because I can't get one. I'm 45. I can't get the senior cup. So I'm not sure if, the, if if inflation has hit McDonald's and the coffee. But there would be folks just sitting around talking. And the three things that consumers over the age of 65 talk about more than anything else to people they know or to strangers. So they talk about their grandkids. They talk about their health issues and they talk about the insurance that they have. Mm. And, and I swear to God, if you want to test this, go to a McDonald's on a random Tuesday or Wednesday morning, breakfast time, somewhere between like 730 and 930. And I virtually guarantee you what you are going to find is you're going to find a group of senior citizens sitting around and you post up and just listen yeah. to the conversation. Now, as opposed to before, when they would like pull out their wallets and like have the have the, the strips of photos that used to pull out of there. Now, instead, they pull out their phone and they go to Facebook and they're like, oh, look at my grandson, Johnny. He's a big time hockey player. Or here is, you know, here's my granddaughter. Look at her on the balance beam. That's what they do. But I, I have heard people talk to total strangers about their knee issues, their kidney issues, like Oh, my hair is falling out. My doctor told me I need to use this weird cream. They talk about this stuff all the time. And you know what else they talk about? Talk about health insurance. And how does that help you? Because if they're talking about health insurance and somebody is like, I don't have an answer for that. Or my, my agent, I don't even know who my agent is. Oh, I work with Bob. You should call him. So that, that really drives tremendous referral activity in this market. So that's why we see, again, these numbers in year two, they double. And they aren't doubling because you're spending a lot of money on leads. They're doubling because if you do a good job and you talk to your consumers, you can, you can have these numbers double just with referrals. So where we're at now, again, year two, this year you're selling 60 of each. You're selling 60 Medicare Advantage, 60 Medicare Supplement. Um, and now what we see is, ooh, we got some renewal income coming in, right? Because we wrote that we wrote business last year, wrote 66 apps in year one. Well, again, conservative estimate on the persistency. Now you've got 60 that made it to year two. So if we look at the comp, year one comp that you're making here, you made 57 grand. 
in first year commission off of those 120 sales, which is a pretty strong number, but it's not crazy. Like when you think about breaking it down week by week, which is how I like to do things, um, it's not a big number. So you make 57 grand in first year commission. Now all of a sudden you've got almost 20 grand in renewals that are coming in off that business you wrote just in the first year. Um, so let's take a look at year three. So now January through September, you've got more referrals coming in. You've got a lot of members here, okay? Um, now you're writing three folks a week. Maybe because you're so happy at the money you're making in the Medicare business, you know, you just commit Thursday is my Medicare day. I'm doing life Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Maybe you're doing some Saturdays or Sundays. I don't know, up to you. But Thursday's Medicare day. One day a week, can you write, can you write, write three apps? Heck yeah, you can. Because guess what? You, you can do it remotely. You don't have to be getting to the kitchen tables. You don't have to put all that windshield time in. There are tools and technology available, not just with us at Nice Lawson Fleming, but really any legitimate distributor. You have access to multi-carrier online enrollment tools that allow you to sell this virtually. So if there's anything you come away from in the session, I think you're going to come away with some really cool stuff. Don't fall into the trap of believing that Medicare has to be sold face-to-face. -face. It doesn't. So again, you're right. Now in year three, you're rolling along. Like you've got a ton of renewals, a ton of referrals that are coming in. You're really killing it. And again, you've got one, one day a week that you're selling Medicare. Thursdays is Medicare day. Selling, you know, 12 apps a month, January through September. You get to fourth quarter and you're doing 24 a month. Okay, you're doing six apps. Maybe, maybe you need to do a day and a half of Medicare sales um, each week in October, November, December. But it's worth it now because you're making some legit coin on this. Okay, you, you execute this plan and, and you look at the renewal income. Look at how it popped. From year two to year three, you went from making 19 grand in renewals. In year three, you're making 52 grand in renewals. That 52,000 is what you're making off the business you wrote in year one and year two. That's not, that's not the six apps a month or, or you know the six Medicare Advantage sales you made in April. That's business you wrote the last two years. Now all of a sudden that renewal revenue is up to 52,000. And you made some tremendous coin in first year comp. You made 85, you made $138,000. And you didn't have to stop writing the life and annuity business you're writing right now. Again, this is, this is you doing this with a portion of your time. You made some really nice coin. This is what this model looks like. Let's say that you get through three years and you get to the fourth year and you say, I'm just going to continue having, you know, my Medicare sales be those, you know, you know 12 apps a month, um, January through September, and then increase them out, just leveling that off. When you get to year four, during that four, fourth year, you will be making over $100,000 a year in renewals. So as you see, the blue is renewal. So again, year one, no renewal commission because you just started. Year two, you're getting a little pop of that. Year three, wow, that number slicing up. By the time you get to year four, your renewal income is more than you're making in first year comp and the number will just continue to grow. It's really, really cool. So a little bit more detail on where you'll be after three years of this plan. You will have made in the first three years, almost a quarter of a million dollars between your first year comp and your renewals, 246,510. Your Medicare renewals, that you'll start receiving in the fourth year, you will be over $100,000 starting year four. That's good. And that's how you do it. Let's go. Let's go. Give me some eights in chat if you're enjoying hanging out with Bill tonight on, what is it, Tuesday night now, right? In Springfield, Mo. Dude, that was good. Uh, and you know what, it, he, what I love about Bill is not only does he help a ton, he trains, but he keeps it really simple at the same time like people most people would have like butchered that and made it the most confusing freaking diagram in the world yeah. you know
Well, I, and, and that, that's the thing that I've always tried to focus on, Cody. And, and you do this a lot with, with the videos that you do where, where you're focused on training. And if, if you can't make a sales concept simple, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter because no one's going to do it. No. it, it you, you've got to. And that's that's the art to this. Right. You know, and, and that's what our that's what our agents do when yes. they're at the kitchen table, when they're working with a consumer. You know, they're working to explain how you know, a universal life policy works and how, how the cash values factor into that. They're talking about, well, this final expense product is whole life. Well, what is whole life? Mean? Let's make this, let, let's make that very simple. You know, that the, the premium, the cash values and the death benefit, they're all locked in. They're all guaranteed. They don't move around. You know, and, and that's the art of what we do. And if you're in this business, whether you're selling life or Medicare or ACA or whatever it is, if you're going to be any good, you've got to take the complex and make it simple. Otherwise, the consumers just don't need us. 100%. Yeah, 100%. I also want to do this too. Um, Nicole, if we stop sharing for Yeah, second? yeah, absolutely. Because uh, the chat's lighting up. I want to go see it. So I'm going to stop okay. sharing. Um, I love the slide deck presentation, by the way. It was so valuable. Um, you guys can see us. No slide deck. Yes, just want to be clear. Um, also... I was sharing, we were sharing, thank you, Darren. We we're sharing a couple of links. Okay. So, so for if you've enjoyed tonight, um, obviously you can grab a free ebook that goes over the entire thing. It's got yep. graphs, it's got data. People are like, oh, I want these graphs, I want these numbers, right? Well, they're in the ebook. Um, so you can click the link there for the ebook. Also, too, um, your I want to I want to show your guys' YouTube channel off real quick, too, because um y'all have done something incredible with the channel i mean it's it's popping it's growing but it's like you're putting out content constantly you know like all the time um let me know that y'all let me know that y'all can see this in their youtube channel in chat i'll also put the link so that you can go subscribe but again like they are doing videos exactly on yeah on leads on why you should transition right on actual needs analysis on top carriers like their whole team and company really gets involved, right? Like Jill, love Jill, love Nick. You got a, you know, a bunch of amazing people. Um, and so I'm going to link this in chat again because you need to 100% go check out what they're doing on their YouTube channel if you have not yet. Yeah, and th thanks for talking about the YouTube channel, Cody. Um, we we spend a ton of time on, on that YouTube channel. I mean, we're, we're typically putting out content like four or five days a week. Yep. And that it's a lot. I mean, to, to, to work, to, to, pro, to, to produce viable, like relatable, worthwhile content for our agents, like that many days a week is tough. And I'll tell you who, who is a, just an absolute, just crazy person behind the scenes that makes it all happen is Nick, our video producer. Awesome. Like you, you met Nick, he's here with us on the trip. Um, it, it's amazing what he does, as well as the whole rest of the creative team, um, to, to enable us to get that content in front of the agents. It's it's really important. Yeah, hundred percent. We also had somebody said ebook question mark. Let me share that. My apologies if you have not grabbed the free ebook. I just posted the link in chat right there. That is that is a content that you can take with you. That's based off tonight, right? Like you know, it's, it, and a lot of people are like, hey, I want. The graphs or all the slide deck or all more information like his team built out that free ebook to be able to send that to you right so you felt you go you click the link you fill out the form you receive an email with the ebook gary says check the spam just in case that's where mine went okay great thank you appreciate that advice that's awesome um daniel just said is the health insurance exam harder or easier or the same as life insurance um so i took i took the exam in 2003 um so i i may not be the best person to ask although to be honest Everyone on our sales team that works with agents, every single person on the sales team at our office, I, I, we require them to have an insurance license because if they're going to be helping someone with a license selling a home, they should be licensed. Um, and that, that's actually a recommendation that I would make to you, whether you work with Nyschloss and Fleming or whether you work with anyone else, is ask the question to the IMO who's recruiting you. Are the people on your sales team, they hold a health insurance license or hold a life license? Mm. If they don't, that that would give me reason for pause. And that's whether you work with us or somebody else. I think it's it's super important that they've gone through what you had to go through and they understand the products and, and, and they understand licensure. But um, so thinking about all of the folks that are newer on our team, we've had them using uh, a training solution called uh, Excel, Tra Excel Training Solutions. Mm. Um, and... 
I would say that of our newer employees who've started with us in the last year, probably 90% of them passed their license test for life and health within the first six weeks on their first attempt. So if you pass life, I think you pass health. It requires a little bit of study, but um, you know, it's, it's certainly doable. You had a question about um, two questions. One was like, hey, you know, can, can we work, do we, can we work, do we have to work? Do we, do we need to work with an IMO, FMO? Can we go direct? You know, how does that work? You can't go direct with these, these options and computers. Um, you just can't, um, unless you've just done a ton of business. You guys have three, 4,000 active agents. You've been doing it forever. Also, somebody asked, hey, is, is Bill and, and I just lost an IMO or an FMO? They're just freaking huge. Okay, they're big. Yeah, I, I, so the, the, I don't want to say this is a funny question, but like, I don't know what the strategic difference is between are you an IMO, are you an FMO, are you an RMO or whatever. We are an agency that works with agents all across the country nationally to help them grow their business in the Medicare space. Um, And we have the top contracts with every major insurance company that works in the Medicare space. So whether that makes us an an IMO, an FMO, uh, TMO, whatever it is, um, we help agents grow their business. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Uh, insurance. If we work with our agency for our life, can we work with you with our Medicare? I wouldn't see why you couldn't. Yeah. yeah. So what, one, of, one, of the, one of the guiding principles that we have in our agency actually um, was best stated by Mike Tomlin. And if you're not a Steelers fan, I apologize, but I love Mikey T. He's my guy. So I like quoting him. Uh, we believe in volunteers, not hostages. So if... You want to work with us for one product. Let's say you, you call the office tomorrow morning and you get in touch with Albert um, and you say, hey, Albert, I'd like to do Aetna with you. Okay, cool. If you want to have all the rest of your Medicare products with some other distributor, that's fine. Uh, up to you. If you want to have all of your Medicare business with us and you want to do all of your life and annuity business somewhere else, also cool. Um, so we, we are not the people who are going to say, nope not doing lead program with you because you only do one piece of business with us or nope, you can't use our online enrollment tool because you have half of your Medicare contracts with a competitor. Don't care. Like, you know, a lot of places care. uh, Yeah. Well, here's the thing. We don't use like fear and anxiety tactics to make people want to work with us. We are interested in volunteers, not hostages. So you want to work with us for one product? Cool. Call our sales team and talk to us about it. And we're happy to help you. Yeah, I'm currently working with the agency. If we wanted to change and work with you on Medicare, would you help with that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, 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 it's just a question of what are your goals and objectives? Uh, what do you want to do? And w- one of the things that sounds like such a little thing, and there's times where I even think it's a little thing, and then I talk to agents and agencies, and they're like, no, no one does that anymore. We actually pick up the phone. Like you call our office, you're going to get a live human being if you're calling us during business hours. And I, I we we were talking about this. We were talking, we were talking about this together. today. That that I will not make us like the cable company where you have to call in and dial an extension. Like if it's during business hours, somebody better be picking up the phone as a human being. And if you leave us a message, we'll call you back. Which. Yeah. So, sounds like a little thing, but the more and more I talk to agents, apparently it's not a little thing. It's more of a differentiator than I thought it was. Totally. Um, do we own our book when invested or when investing? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, we, we, don't, we don't deal with scenarios in which agents are invested in their book. So the There's, business you write is your business. And it's paid by the carrier. That was another question. Hey, does, does it pay by the company and paid by the carrier? So I, I would say with 90% of our insurance contracts, they're paid directly by the insurance company. Um, we have a couple local companies that require us to pay commissions. Like we've got Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield in, in Pennsylvania. They will only pay to our level. Uh, UPMC, um, Independence Blue Cross in Philadelphia. So if the carrier will only pay to our level, then we've got to pay you. If the carrier will allow agents to be paid direct, we want you to be paid direct because the last thing we want is to have to administer your commissions in a scenario where we don't have to. Like, it just makes it more complicated. We want our agents to be paid as soon as possible um, with the least amount of, you know, middle people in the way. So if you can get your commissions direct, we want you to get them direct. Yep, and you should. Yeah, they're, 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 not, they're not our commissions, they're your commissions. We want you to get them as soon as possible. 
That's yeah. the whole point. Yeah. Uh, if we wanted to talk to your team, Victor says, how would we go about doing that? Okay, so easiest way to get a hold of our team is to call our office. Um, and you can reach the office at 800-562-7733. Um, and, and the other thing too, like if you wanna check us out or learn more about us, um, when you if you go to our YouTube channel, you just click the about us and any possible way to get a hold of us is there. Um, so, you know, you, you, you can click on, you know, view email address. Um, you can Google our name and go right to our website. And I mean, heck, if you, you could go to our contact us page and be like, hey, there's the guy that did the webinar session. His name's Bill Correa. I'm going to click on there. I'm going to email him right off of, you know, our website. What do you, however you want to do it, we're not hard to find. Um. How does it work on Medicare with all the calls need to be recorded? Who holds on to those recordings? Okay, so that's that's a great question, Tony. Um, in terms of call recording, um, assuming that the guidelines don't change, but as the guidelines sit today, um, we have a call recording solution that is available for free for every agent that works with us, whether they're working with us for one product or 10. Um, and the way they utilize that system is through our Medicare Center online enrollment platform. Um, so they can call out to a consumer directly through the platform. The outbound call is recorded. If they want to have inbound calls recorded, we provide a phone number to every single agent that is unique that you can put on marketing pieces. You can tell a consumer, hey, call me back at 412-555-6677 or whatever your number is in the system. And then it will record the inbound call. And we, we, may, we maintain that system to store the call recordings for you. Um, if you want to export the call recordings, you can do that too. Then you've got to manage them, but it's up to you. Um, but we, we provide the technology to all of our agents, regardless of how many carriers they have with us, how much business they write, for free. Love it. And no, you do not have to become a captain. It's <laughs> a good question, though. Volunteers, not hostages. That's right. Um, Tony, here's a, thank you, Nick. Nick's on here. You just said, Tony, here's a link to below um, to how the call recording with the Medicare Center works. Yep. Love it. That's awesome. Love yeah, it. and and Nick Reichman is is our esteemed video producer. He is the man behind the magic on the YouTube channel. So, yeah, he's the what, best. What a great dude, man. Dude, this has been um, a blast. Y'all are awesome at what you do. Y'all have been doing it for decades, you know, like a very long time. Like, you'll understand. At our 40th anniversary in December. Dude, that's amazing. Yeah. Congrats. That's a big number. That's cool. Uh, I can tell you this. Um, I love working with them. Really good people. They know Medicare. Like you could say, you know what? And he, he had the ability to like, just add on a bunch of stuff, but he's like, dude, we, we have op other options. We do this and we do it great. And they really do. So um, anything else to add as we close out tonight? Yeah. Just, just a, just a couple closing items. Um, so the first thing is make sure to check out the ebook. Uh, I know Cody's posted that link in chat a couple different times. Um, that will basically walk you through with a little bit more detail everything we talked through today. Um, and read through that, take a look at it. And if you've got questions, if you're like, hey, I want to figure out how can I do this, um, hit us up and we'll we'll walk you through it. Because we have dedicated sales managers for every one of our every one of our agents that works with us. So you know, it's not like today you call in and you're and you're working with Suzanne and the next day you call in and you're working with Bobby and the next day you call in and you're talking to Janine. It's if you're working with us, you're going to be working with Shalisha or Sydney or Kristen or Chris or Zach or Beth. That's your person. Um, so, you know, that that's important that you've got a dedicated sales manager gets to know you, knows your market, um, helps you build about a business plan and is willing to work with you to grow. So, um, but again, check out the ebook, read through it. It's a simple plan. And there's, this is not smoke and mirrors, guys. It is a super conservative approach. Again, in terms of conservative, in terms of the assumptions that we make, that'll get you to $100,000 in renewals. And we'd love to help you do that, help you build some financial security for your family. Um, and if there's anything we can ever do for you, hit us up. I love it, Bill. You're amazing. Appreciate you doing this. Appreciate you being here. Also, thank you all for being on tonight, man, for, for showing up for being here, for filling up the chat, for hanging out with Cody and Bill tonight, wherever you're watching from again. Appreciate y'all, y'all are awesome. 
Uh, again, make sure you grab the free ebook. Once you fill out the form, it's coming to your email. And when you get a chance, check out the Nice Schloss and Fleming YouTube channel. They do a phenomenal job, phenomenal content. They know Medicare, they know training. And I love that we got to hang out and share this info. We're getting some phenomenal feedback in the chat. A bunch yeah, of thank, you. thank you, everybody. It means a lot. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I appreciate it. you. Okay, appreciate you. Have a phenomenal week, a great April. Go check out Bill and Nice Schloss, and we'll see you on the next webinar. Thank you all. Adios.